we will welcome from the great state of Illinois, the Honorable Senator Barack Obama. Senator Barack Obama, we welcome you. Tony? I knew that was going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wanted to do this part, right, Tony yep, Bowman? <laughs> I, I, I waited to do this part. Senator Obama, the people here today believe in community values. The idea that we are stronger when we act together. We think that our government should consider everyone and not just the privileged few. We think that our government should also enact policies that reflect that. But lately, we've been led down the wrong path, whether that be because of reactions to the shameful reactions to um, Hurricane Katrina or the favoring of factory farms at the expense of local farmers. We have seen this country dominated by a go-it-alone mentality. We call this the politics of division. But I know, as well as you know, that in America we can do better. And so the question, Senator Obama, is... If you were elected president, oh, you knew it was going to come from me, right? If you were elected president, will you be willing to make the hard decisions that ensure that we as a country live up to our community values? Absolutely. All right. It is great to see everybody. Uh, let me just, for those of you who don't know my background, let me just explain that this idea of community values is not just a cause of a campaign for me, it is the cause of my life. The reason, you know, some of you know I live in Chicago now, but I didn't, I didn't originally come from Chicago. I moved to Chicago after college because I wanted to work at a grassroots level for people who needed help on the south side of Chicago, and I worked as a community organizer for the first three years of my career after college because I understood that it is important for America that we, that we recognize responsibilities not just for ourselves but for each other, that we're not in this on our own. And we've had an administration over the last seven years that tells us that you're on your own. Mm -hmm. We've had businesses that say what's in it for me instead of what's in it for us. And as a consequence, America has been weaker and the American dream has been slipping away. I take the same principles of community organizing and mutual responsibility to every piece of work that I do, and that is what I'm going to take to the White House when I'm President of the United States of America. Thank you very Thank much, Senator, Senator Obama. We now will be joined by three community leaders, the first of whom is going to share a story with you, and then the two subsequent ones are going to ask you questions. Please join us on stage, the first group. That's got our a first, ring to it. Our first community leader is... Hi, my name is Deidre Lewis. I'm here with my 10-year-old daughter, Alexiana. I'm a proud member, excuse me. I'm a proud member of Alliance to Develop Power in Springfield, Massachusetts. <laughs> I will never forget the morning Alexiana woke up crying, stating that her eyes were burning. She couldn't see. I learned then that Alexiana had a rare eye disease that caused blindness in children. I can remember what the doctor said in my head every day, that if you don't give her a dosage of medication, she can go blind. If you miss an eye doctor appointment, she can go blind. I had to give Alexiana eye drops every day, injections every day too, more pills that she can even count. I was a full-time property manager 
I had to cut back my hours because Alexiana needed more attention with her, her disease. The unspeakable happened. I lost my health insurance. But this is not a tragedy. I found S-chip. But now there's other millions of people that, are not, that, that don't have insurance, that need help, that don't know the resources, that need the resources. Can you look into Alexiana's eyes and tell me, don't all God's children deserve medical care? Absolutely. I'm going to uh, ask for a point of personal privilege. Come on, Alexiana, this is historic. Hey, I, I, I want you to meet you, Senator sir? Barack Obama. She's in training to replace me as moderator in four years. <laughs> Your first question, to Senator, will come from? My name is Marty Sanchez, president of Pilsen Neighbors and of hey. Gamaliel of Metro Chicago. Pilsen in the house. <laughs> All across America, there are millions of people like Deidre and her daughter. In the community where I work, many of them are immigrants who have been deliberately excluded from receiving public health program. I believe that this country needs a health care program that ensures that everyone gets the health care they deserve. For decades, political leaders from both parties have told us to rely on the private market and have even bragged about reducing the size of government. But as you've heard from Deidre's story, these public programs can make the difference between a child going blind or keeping her eyesight, or even the difference between life and death. Are you willing, Senator, to tell the American public that in some ways there is a need for more government? Well, first of all, Deirdre and Alexiana, it is a, I, I'm, I'm so thankful that you shared your story. Uh, and this is a story that's repeated all across the country, and in Pilsen, and in South Chicago, and here in Des Moines, and all of, everywhere we go. And I'm hearing it all throughout the campaign. Government has a role to play in making sure that the American people can live out their dreams. They don't expect government to solve all their problems, but what they do expect is government can help break down the barriers between them and their dreams. And that means they should be able to find a job that pays a living wage. It means that they should be able to retire with dignity and respect. It means that they should be able to send their child to a good school and send that child to college even if they're not rich. And it means that every single person in America should be able to get health insurance, not just in the emergency room, but the way that I get health insurance or some of these mayors get health insurance. It should be health insurance they can count on. We and the notion that the private marketplace can take care of that is just not true. So that's why I put forward a plan that says every single American and everybody sitting here, and Deirdre and Alexiana, every single person, they will have coverage that is as good as the coverage that I have as a member of Congress. We're going to put more money into prevention. We're going to put more money into managing the chronically ill so people are getting regular checkups, so we can reduce diabetes and heart disease. And we are not going to wait 20 years from now or 10 years from now. We are going to do it by the end of my first term as President of the United States. That's something you can take to the bank. 